Well, the United Nations has warned that time is running out to tackle climate change. The World Meteorological Organization's latest report says humanity must drastically cut its greenhouse gas emissions to avoid a catastrophe. Our critical indicators of the climate crisis broke records last year. Four key measures, greenhouse gas concentrations, our sea level rise, ocean temperatures and ocean acidification all hit their highest levels in 2021. Scientists say the open ocean is now the most acidic it has ever been in 26 thousand years. Greenhouse gas concentrations reached a new global high in 2020 despite pandemic lockdowns and emissions have continued to rise through 2021 and into 2022. There was a drop in emissions by 5.6 percent in 2020 but because of the very long lifetime of carbon dioxide this kind of one year's anomaly don't change the big picture so we have still we have still seen the steady growth of carbon dioxide uh, a concentration which is related to the fact that we are still using too much uh, fossil fuels and uh, and also also deforestation uh, in in regions like amazon uh, africa and southern asia still continue the World Meteorological Organization also found that the past seven years were the seven hottest on record. It said regions in India and Pakistan should expect record high temperatures every three years. Both countries have suffered record-breaking heat waves in recent months. The agency said without climate change, such extreme temperatures would only have occurred only once every 300 years or so. The United Nations also says the extreme weather supercharged by climate change has taken a huge toll. It has led to mass deaths, disease, migration and economic losses in the hundreds of billions of dollars. It has also triggered shocks to global food and water supplies. UN Chief Antonio Guterres criticised humanity's failure to tackle climate disruption. He says fossil fuels are a dead end and that the only sustainable future is a renewable one. He points out that wind and solar power are readily available and so we do have a lifeline in front of us. He says renewable technologies should be treated as freely available global public goods. Mr. Guterres calls on countries to fast-track building infrastructure for renewable resources and to eliminate any bureaucracy that should stand in the way.